This message is for President William Ruto of Kenya. Sir, I'm in a little bit of a situation. Okay, Some time ago, I came to your country and I fell in love with the country. And I blame the lady at immigration because she know that I'm Jamaican. She know I was never been to the continent before. And just as I was about to leave the airport, she said, to, she shouted out my name and said, welcome home. Well, look at me, what, a year and a half, two years later, trying to get back into Kenya. Um, I have two registered Kenyan companies. We have three employees working. I'm in Canada. Three employees working and I'm looking to come there permanently. The $100,000 requirement for the Class G visa, it's not a matter of not having the money because um, the money is in a Canadian bank. Um, I would need to send it over to Kenya. But in fees alone, we're looking at about $13,000 in fees for me, right? Because that's 100000 US and I'm Canadian, so it's a lot more money. Um, what we're asking for is a better way for us to come home. I know by all indications I should be heading to West Africa, but my heart belongs to Kenya. I love your country. I love the people of Kenya. I love the way I feel when I'm in Kenya. I was born and raised in Jamaica and I love Jamaica world out end. But I must tell you, I have never felt peace and my true self until I was in your country. So I have an emotional connection to Kenya. And I've had a lot of challenges trying to do things the right and proper way to get to Kenya. And I must tell you, the challenges are... <laughs> Anyways, Mr. President, I want you to know that there are many people who are descendants of the transatlantic slave trade who really want to come to Kenya. And we're trying. We're trying to follow the rules that are there. But currently, the process leaves us open to a lot of abuse. Um, people are getting scammed out here. So what we're asking is to grant us the right of a board. We can already own property in Kenya because a lot of us do. We already can own businesses in Kenya because a lot of us do. We employ Kenyans. We just are not allowed to work in our own co companies in Kenya. And that's, that's what we're looking for. The ability to come and just operate in our own businesses. Like my company is earning money in Kenya and I'm not in Kenya. And I, I keep asking people, am I breaking any laws? No one can answer me. And I've written to the different government agencies to make sure I'm not breaking any laws, earning money, even though I'm not in Kenya, right? So I want to do things the right and proper way. And there are many of us. And we might not have $100,000 in our bank accounts, but some of us have a little bit less, maybe 50, maybe 25. Some of us are doctors, lawyers, teachers. We, are, we come from a wide spectrum of society and we're willing to come there and use our expertise and our resources to build Kenya because we want to be in Africa and Kenya is where we feel at home. So I don't know if you get to ever see this message, but please consider granting the descendants of trafficked Africans. So basically anybody whose parents survived the Middle Passage and is now living in the United States, Canada, um, the United Kingdom, the Caribbean, Central and South America, a lot of us want to come home. Not everybody's gonna come home, but a lot of us want to. And the, those of us who want to come home are of a particular mindset. We're Pan-Africans. We want to see Africa be the number one continent on the planet. We want to see Kenya be number one country in the world. We have a love for the country and we just really want to come home. I have examples of the right of a board um, dra drafted by one of our members who's actually a lawyer. And um, I've sent it to you many times. I, again, I don't think it gets to you because I know how things are. This is probably an intern opening those emails. So they may or may not have gotten to you. But there's interest here. There's interest to come home. When we come home, most of us at a minimum hire five people. Even people who don't do business, even retirees hire people. So please, President Ruto, grant us the right of a vote. Allow us to call Kenya our own. And I guarantee you, once you start, other countries are going to follow suit because they will see the benefit of having the African diaspora all returned to Africa. Thank you. Have a great day.